Glad, glad this week's early, honestly. Uh, you know, it's just kind of a tough week for us all, all together with uh, coming off that big win last week. Uh, you know, we, we talked all week about respecting our opponents, which I think we did. Um, you know, and just at the end of the day, we got we got through with the victory. So, um, you know, Coach Blaine is a, a really good football coach. He did some things defensively that had us kind of scramble a little bit early. Uh, and, and the kids played hard. You know, his group played hard. So you know, we, we expected that. We got that. <coughs> Glad we got that. It's going to make us better. Um, you know, so um, looking forward to uh, just putting this behind us and moving forward. Goals to be 2 0. Oh, 2 0. Oh. Coach, they kept you on that 4 2 box and you just kept running into it. Was that just sort of. They're going to give it to us. We're just going to run it. Well, they showed us 4 0 box or 4 1 box most of the time. And we say, and I thought Will did a really good job of getting us into the right place and then they just rallied to it. So, you know, we had to be, and, you know, we're a big play offense. You know, always have been. Um, you know, I told Will at halftime, don't, don't, get, don't get anxious and, and do dumb things because we're frustrated with five, six yards of play. I think at halftime we're at about six yards of play. I don't think we upped it in the second half, but at halftime it was around six, six and a half yards of play. Don't get don't get frustrated with that. You know, just continue to manage the game, and they did. And then those those, <coughs> those uh, small plays turned into some big plays later in the game. And you're talking about Gary Jones, you're getting him the favor. Yeah, that's you know we gave him so much crap last year for having one touchdown. <laughs> He scored 100% of the time that he's had to touch the ball. 100 catches and one touchdown. So he's, I mean, he's, he's tired of hearing it, you know. And I, I can't explain that because, you know, he, he's, he's, a, he's a really good player. And, you know, we, we focused on that and probably targeted him more, you know, in, in, in those situations. So it was good to see him get the end zone. <coughs> Uh, pretty good, you know. Uh, nothing. I, I, we're allergic to, to turnovers again. Uh, we had a couple. Of, did we get any? That one that intercepted. We get Draymond got one. That was a heck of a catch by Draymond too. Uh, you know, Norwood caused the fumble. It was right into to Hakeem's hands, and then boom, he drops it. And then Kid was the only. He had that thing. And just lost it. But uh, you know, pretty solid. You know, they were averaging about four yards to play at halftime. Um, we gave up one drive. Penalties are probably the biggest thing that we got to, you know, identify. <coughs> uh, way too many penalties. I don't even want to look at it, honestly. But, uh, overall played okay. Just nothing, nothing like spectacular. You know, that was the thing at halftime. I really didn't know what to say to him other than the fact just go out there and finish the game because we weren't doing anything spectacular on either side of the ball. Uh, but we weren't doing anything. You have to feel how many of those penalties were effort, how many were just kind of you really don't like? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> it's a good question. We weren't penalized at all last week, and then this week we had maybe nine or six or that. So I was talking with, with you know, the referees out there. They, they felt like we were doing some uncharacteristic things that they haven't seen on the bus in the past few years. So I don't know if it's technique. I don't think it was effort. I don't think our effort was bad. <coughs> You know, I don't know. We, we got to look at it. Sure. But it, it, was, it was not good. We didn't play smart. You think Giovanni Stewart at, at linebacker what it went into the, the thought to move him from safety linebacker? Obviously, numbers were problems, but Just getting the best 11 out there more than anything. You know, we, 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 uh, we, we, don't, we didn't want David to be the shortest linebacker in the country. <laughs> <laughs> so we put Giovanni there. It makes, makes David feel like he's a much bigger player. Um, yeah, Giovanni said he's a good player for us and, and is making a lot of plays. And, you know, I had to reduce his special teams reps because we started him. He made plays out there. You know, I mean, he's, he's, that's what he played in high school. He was, he was a line scrimmage guy in high school, and the closer he is to the ball being snapped, the better he is. So, you know, he's, he's went from bandit to spur, now back. Coach, what can you tell us about Alex Singfield, both his performance tonight and his status? Yeah, I, I don't. He, he should. He should be fine. But, uh, he, 
we're going to need all those guys. You know, I mean, you know, Sank was, I think he got the first carry based on the quarterbacks. I don't consider any of them sort of some long game players. Um, you know, Lake went in there, it didn't look like a freshman to me. I mean, that, that was pretty, pretty uh, spectacular watching him run the ball. But all, the, all those guys were going to be needed. You know, halftime, he, he gets Sank was out. I thought, I thought, uh, Pedway was going to be out. He had an ankle as well. He went out there and didn't play good in the second half. And those other guys did as well. So, got to be involved. Coach, you guys are spread the ball around a lot just between all those running backs you mentioned and I don't have it in front of me, but a whole bunch of receivers catching the ball too. Just how nice is it to be able to, <laughs> to have that many guys that can go out and, and make plays? Yeah, I don't know if we're there yet. Um, I don't know what you mean by that many guys that are able to make plays. Um, you know, we play a league that has a lot of so we, we, we're, we're constantly trying to develop depth and you know, when guys go down and the guys got to go in and play. Um, we got a long ways to go. It's so just two games and I'll we'll be 2-0 and 0-2-0. Oh, oh, oh. so we'll, we'll, we'll get back to work tomorrow. Were they paying added attention to Sills or were you trying to get the ball spread around? Yeah, I think they were. I mean, there there is some empty boxes. There is some, some stacked coverages going on. Um, you know, which means other people are going to be able to make plays. I thought Marcus played his best game um, that, that he's played since he's been here. So um, uh, that, that's the quarterback's job. We, we need to recognize what they're doing, what they're trying to take away, and you know, have the, you know, the wherewithal to play calls and, and decision making at the quarterback spot to get the ball to the play that can be in their spots. I think Will did a really good job of that. Yeah, any any reason why your guys went so crazy with making scores? Oh, uh, just a good teammate, I guess. You know, I mean, he, Tom's been here for what two years now and hasn't really made a play. So he looked at me and he said, "Coach, I finally made a play." I said, "Yeah, you did. Been here for two years and hadn't done anything. Good job." Uh, now that was a penalty, and that was really stupid of my bench, especially number eight. His helmet was like out there on the numbers, but <clears throat> as he ran down the sidelines, that's a stupid penalty. And we had to kick off from the 20. I should have put Marcus on on kickoff team and start to have to go cover on, 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 on that. So, you know, they were having fun. I mean, our guys like football and they like to have fun, but uh, obviously that type of behavior is not going to be tolerated. And if it ever happens when the game is on the line, then that person will probably wish they were there. Something good about Marcus is uh, his reputation has been just run straight ahead. Um, and it's something they respect now. A lot of them do. It's just a natural thing now where he gets underneath stuff that's going to be catchable. Yeah, they're, they're, if you look at what they did defensively, they weren't going to get beat deep. But you know, they, they were going to give us the run and hope that we just handed it off every time. And then when we snapped it, they were going to roll people into the box and play everybody else off. So that's why all this stuff was underneath. You know, and our completion percentage was high based on that. But Jake did a good job of not forcing things, and, and uh, you know it's just it's you got you got to take what they're what they're giving. <clears throat> if that's uh, underneath stuff and the run game, then you need to be patient with it. I'm not sure that. Is that something Will said? The one last year it seems like he forced some things over the big plays. Is he better at that this year? Yeah, much better. Yeah, much better. I mean, it's just it's year two in, in, a, in the same offense. We're better everywhere around them too, you know. But uh, there, there is. We were a big play offense last year. You, you've heard us talk a lot about efficiency. Well, that's just that's efficiency. Whatever the defense is giving you, that's what we need to take and be happy with it. Um, you know, and he, it gives a step in the right direction today. Chase getting started right guard. <coughs> he did. He's he's doing better. You know, uh, Joe Brown is is. is Still got a ways to go, conditioning wise. We didn't play football in a couple of years, so you know, we we felt like we played him too much last week. So we made Chase we moved Chase in because Chase played better than Isaiah Hardy did. We experimented with Isaiah tackle. Isaiah's got a red shirt here as well. Doesn't mean we're going to, but we're experimenting with it. So we moved Chase and Bird and had a good week. So you know, felt like he was ready to start. So we you guys have any guys in the game you want to? I think we're trying, you know, especially on a lot of the uh, special teams. We got a lot of young kids in. Uh, I know on kickoff we did. <laughs> PAT field goal we did. We did that. <coughs> um, uh, and Tom Turner we did a good bit as well. So 
not affecting them. Uh, the last thing, uh, really, just really proud of our crowd too. You know, with the, with the weather coming in, you never you didn't know how it was going to be. Initial uh, forecast and it was rain, 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 rain. Uh, glad we got the man trip ready to roll. We saw it, who didn't, but uh, started a little wave to the children's hospital over there. That's going to continue. That was awesome. The, the command trip was awesome. The attendance was awesome. The crowd was great. So, really appreciate my